And we say good morning to you. Welcome. We're live again on the road at Phil's Dream Pit in... Gosh, where am I? I guess Colonial Heights, in, Colonial Heights in Kingsport on the Eastern Star Exit of I-26. Eastern Star Exit is where we are broadcasting live again on this Tuesday. Again, ready to roll again. Show number 634. I love it. And we're on the road again at Phil's Dream Pit. The Quest for Perfect Barbecues where we are broadcasting live again, having a big time as we're going to be joined by several folks today. We're going to be on the phone with Eddie Pless, the athletic director from Elizabethan High School. Also going to be hearing from Jeremiah Clark, for our great friend from Appalachian Digital, our IT, I, our IT guy. He can help you, can help me, he does help me, he can help you. Also, Rob Cole from Bays Mountain Park. Alicia Phelps won't come by and talk. Uh, not so much sports, but we're going to talk about uh, the area Christmas parades coming up. Tom, it's not even Thanksgiving yet, I know, but it's going to be here before you know it, I promise you. So here is, let me put it right there. It's a little... How about that? Right there, Thanksgiving season. Give thanks. How about that? That's what we need to be doing again on this Thanksgiving season. We're here again broadcasting live. We always dedicate our show to the man who hung on the cross. Unashamedly, we do that. The verse of the day today is coming out of the book of Isaiah. I will guide you always. I will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You'll be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. How about that? Out of the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 58, 11 is the verse of the day and so we dedicate our show unashamedly every week and every day to the man who hung on the cross i've just got my fingers in his belt loop and just kind of hanging on that's what we're doing so uh, we say good morning again live at phil's dream pit the quest for perfect barbecue uh, we're going to be showing you the they've got them just in time for the christmas holiday season uh, they've got these really cool especially gift boxed uh phil's dream pit sauces and we're going to show you, show you those. We can come out here and get those. It's a great stocking stuffer. Put a big red bow on it. Or gift certificates. Again, we're 40 days away from Christmas. So uh, they put the nose zitch in. It means company's coming, Mama used to say. And so we will show you how you can do that. The obvious story coming out of today on this Tuesday, who's going to replace Butch Jones? We've got a couple of folks. We told you yesterday that some of the pundits are saying we were Bristol Motor Speedway, of course, yesterday broadcasting live and some of the folks have said could be john gruden could be chip kelly although florida state's after him hot and heavy could be dan mullen from mississippi state could be excuse me justin puente from virginia tech could be several here's one that's popped up and i've never even heard of this young man but now the tennessee's officially moved on from butch jones the school can begin putting together a list of candidates and move forward with the hiring process one of those is new york jets defensive coordinator casey rogers he played on three sec championship teams during his four-year run with the volunteers from 1988 to 1991 as a linebacker and defensive end according to the new york daily news it hasn't not been decided yet if rogers will interview for the job rogers 48 years old his career has included college football stops. He's been an NFL assistant since the 2003 season. After coaching the defensive line for the Cowboys and Miami Dolphins, Rodgers was hired by Todd Bowles to be the Jets' defensive coordinator. So that is yet another name that's kind of surfaced. So I'm sure, as we talked yesterday, John Curry's got a list. I'm sure I would think after the Georgia blowout 41 uh, nothing, at that point I would be willing to bet that the phone started ringing behind the scenes. And of course, all these big-name coaches have an agent, so I'm sure that John Curry was on the phone to these agents saying, what interest would your guy have to come to Tennessee? And it's been, of course, pretty closed mouth and under wraps, so we'll see where it goes. But again, Casey Rogers, the defensive coordinator for the New York Jets, yet another name that's popped up now as a possibility. And again, even Lane Kiffin, although I don't see that happening, but they're talking about Kiffin possibly come back and being a head coach at Tennessee and I just do not see it happening nor do I see John Gruden coming could be wrong could be made to look like a goof but I just don't see it happening so I don't think he's going to be the guy that's going to lead this football team into the next round what is obvious and we know this and this is kind of going without saying they've got to make the right pick this time they've had Lane Kiffin they've had Dooley they've had now Butch Jones they have got to get the right pick what, three coaches in 11 years at Tennessee, so they've got to make the next one count and make it a right one. And so uh, I'm sure they're going to take their time, but they can't take a lot of time because the marquee names coaches are going to get scooped up by other people. you got to figure Arkansas is going to be looking for a coach, probably Missouri, definitely Florida looking for an interim to replace interim coach Randy Shannon, again, after Michael Wayne got fired. So those are three just in the SEC. Then you look you know, beyond the SEC to some of the other 
D1 program. So uh, this is the time to go out there and secure your coach so you can wait and be cautious, but you can't be cautious either. So it's a kind of a hurry up and wait kind of scenario to pick these coaches. So anyway, that's what's going on down yonder in Knoxville. We are here live at Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. Also, we've got stories coming up today about Major League Baseball. The man- managerial search continues for the New York Yankees. Also got stories about, oh gosh, some of the other guys, uh, one of the oral relievers, Britain, being uh, courted. So is Billy Hamilton for the Reds. Uh, we've got college basketball finals from last night and who's playing where tonight. Also, we've got the uh, the big prospect, the college basketball prospect, prospect that snubbed all the big boys and uh, went to a school that kind of jumped out at me as a little uh, unusual for him to do that, but he did. And so we'll tell you all about that coming up here in just a few. High school basketball cranks up tonight. Hall of Fame classic games. Uh, those will be going on around the region. We'll tell you who's playing where. And so high school basketball cranks up in earnest. Coming up next weekend, we're going to be broadcasting the semifinals and the finals of the Hardys Classic down in Jonesboro, the 28th annual event. And so next Friday night, the semifinals. And then Saturday, the consolation and the championship. I'll be getting help from color commentator and veteran college uh, basketball, a veteran basketball analyst, Clark Power, is going to help me out. This guy knows, probably forgot more about basketball than you and I know, so he'll be my color commentator next weekend, uh, next Friday and Saturday, uh, Black Friday and Saturday down in Jonesboro at Crockett High School. Tell you what, they open the gates at 11 o'clock, and it's been wide open since then. They don't stop. This place hops right off of Eastern Star Exit of Interstate 26. And so we'll take our first break and come back and we'll jump in, take a look at some different things in sports again on this Tuesday, November the 14th. Countdown to Christmas down to 40 days. And again, we'll come back and also tell you about now is a good time for you to consider ordering tickets for 2018 for Bristol Motor Speedway. we got the ticket prices going on, and we'll tell you all about that right after you hear this live from Phil's Dream Pit, show number 634 on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's model your clothes out with Jim Employee pricing and 20% off on 17 models of Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. It's a great time to take advantage of closeout savings on our selection of over 300 Chevys to choose from. 17 1500 work truck 23995, 17 track 17 548, 17 cruise 16488, 17 spark 10950, 17 Malibu 18985. Closeout savings, Saturday parts and service hours, and shopping online 24 7 will leave you asking, how do they do that? Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. Do you like pulled pork? At Phil's, the pulled pork is cooked low and slow. We cook it all night, but we serve it fast. Our pulled pork is hickory smoked, tender and juicy. We serve the pork either as a sandwich on a bun or platter style with garlic toast. And don't forget to try our pork wings. They taste like a cross between ham and our sweet ribs. It comes as a meal, as an add-on, or part of our meat sampler platters. Pulled pork and pork wings. Just two great reasons to stop by Phil's Dream Pit. Eastern Star Exit off I-26, 349-6437. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org.
Back on the Tom Bowe Sports Show. Thanks for being with us live again at Phil's Dream Pit. The quest for perfect barbecue is what we're looking for, and it's here. If you're looking for barbecue, this man, what you got? Are you got a pulled pork? So what you've got? Beans and slaw, pulled pork. Can't beat it. Um, and this place is packed already. It's uh, but there's room for you, of course. But it's uh, <laughs> as soon as the doors open up, they're in here like bees on honey. With and understandably so. Let's run down college basketball and give you the top 20, brand new top 25 out this week. In college hoops, both the guys and the girls. And so, top 25 for the men. And no surprise here, Duke. Can you talk about some good ball games tonight? Oh, yeah. We'll tell you about that coming up in a moment. Duke, Michigan State, Arizona, Kansas, and Villanova, the top five this week. Then comes Wichita State, Kentucky, Florida. Also, North Carolina and Southern Cal rounds out the top 10 this week. And the latest high school or High school, but the latest college basketball poll. Duke, Michigan State, Arizona, Kansas, Villanova, the top five. Then comes Wichita State, Kentucky, Florida, North Carolina, Southern Cal rounds out the top ten. Number 11 in college hoops, Miami, Cincinnati 12th, Notre Dame 13th, Minnesota, the Golden Gophers ranked 14th this week. Then comes Xavier, Texas A&M, Gonzaga, Louisville, Purdue, Northwestern, St. Mary's out of California. Seton Hall ranked 22nd, UCLA ranked 23rd, West Virginia and the Mountaineers ranked 24th, and Baylor ranked 25th this week in the latest college basketball poll. That's for the gentlemen. For the ladies, your top 10 goes UConn, Texas, Baylor, South Carolina, the Lady Cardinals from Louisville. Then comes Notre Dame, Mississippi State, UCLA, Ohio State, and the Lady Ducks from Oregon. Tennessee ranked 13th this week in the latest women's college basketball polls. That's what's going on in the hoops. Last night, East Tennessee State, uh, Devontavious Payne, 17 points of his career high, 28 during a decisive run last night as the Bucks pulled away for a 76-61 non-conference win on the road at Savannah State. Bucks now 1-1. One one. Payne went 10 out of 19 a shooting, including 6 out of 14 from three-point range. He was on last night. Devontavious Payne, 17 of his career-high 28 points. The Bucks again went on the road in Savannah, Georgia, against Savannah State. Final score there is 76 to 61. So, from last night, top 25 college basketball from last night, 14th-ranked Minnesota wins over Providence by 12. Eighth-ranked Florida blows out Gardner-Webb, 116-74. 12th-ranked Cincinnati, uh, what, 51-point victory over Western Carolina, 102-51. 13th-ranked Notre Dame defeats Mount St. Mary's, 88-62. Northern University, or I'm sorry, Northwestern University, the Wildcats uh, beat the St. Peter's Peacocks. I love that. Beat them by nine. Baylor goes 2-0 in the season. They blow out Texas A&M at uh, Corpus Christi, uh, 70-46. Xavier wins last night. The Musketeers defeat Ryder, 101-75. And the Wichita State Shockers up 2-0 on the year, and they defeated uh, let's see, Columbia College, oh, I'm sorry, the College of Charleston. College of Charleston beat them by 18, 81-63. Tonight, college basketball got some dandies. Check this out. Uh, Duke, top-ranked Duke, will take on number two Michigan State tonight in game one. In game two, seventh-ranked Kentucky at 2-0, taking on the Kansas Jayhawks, fourth-ranked in the country at 1-0. That'll be coming up later on this evening. So you've got fourth-ranked Kansas and number seven Kentucky Top-ranked Duke takes on number two Michigan State back-to-back -back in the doubleheader. Villanova will be hosting Nickel State, fifth-ranked Villanova. 19th-ranked Purdue on the road at Marquette. And 17th-ranked Gonzaga will be taking on Howard University. And so that's your top 25 college basketball for tonight, involving your top 25, obviously, college basketball teams. Well, it's not often a blue-chip basketball prospect picks another school over Kentucky, but that's what happened when five-star point guard Darius Garland committed to Vanderbilt, top 10 player in the class of 2018, chose the Commodores over Indiana, UCLA, Kentucky, among others, citing a wish to stay close to home as the main reason for his decision. He is the highest rated prospect to ever commit to Vanderbilt. And so uh, me and my family had a long conversation a couple of weeks ago, and they really wanted me to stay home. And so he is. Garland is the second verbal commitment for Bryce Drew, the head coach for Vanderbilt in the 2018 class with four-star small forward Aaron Nesmith. The Commodores recruiting class currently ranks 30th in the country and 5th in the Southeastern Conference. They're having a pretty good run already. And so they're in the recruiting class, 5th in the SEC behind LSU, Florida, and Kentucky. So Vanderbilt picks up a good one. Five-star point guard Darius Garland 
saying no to Indiana, no to UCLA, no to Kentucky, but yes to Vanderbilt, which is interesting to say the least. What else happening in sports? Let's take a look at high school football. In 1A, here's your team still standing. Again, you're down to the final eight in each class. In 1A, Coalfield at Greenback Friday night. Whitwell at South Pittsburgh. Huntington will be at Cornersville. And Lake County plays at Hillcrest on Friday night. In 2A football, Rockwood at Miggs County. Marion County at Tyner. Waverly at Columbia Academy. And Union City playing host to Peabody on Friday night in 2A football. Everything starts at 7. In 3A football, Austin East Roadrunners in Alcoa to battle the 10 and 2 Alcoa football team. Smith County will be at Red Bank to battle the Lions. Pearl Con will be home to Fairview and Raleigh Egypt will be at Covington in 3A football. In 4A football, coming up on Friday night, the Greenville Green Devils, only team still standing in Northeast Tennessee, hosting Anderson County, the Mavericks. Greenville and Anderson County, both undefeated at 12 and 0, will square off. Maplewood at Marshall County, Springfield at Jackson Southside, Crockett County at Haywood in 5A football Friday night, Knox Central at South Doyle, Oak Ridge, the Wildcats in Atomic City hosting Knox Catholic. That'll be a barn burner. It'll be Beach at Summit and Brighton at Henry County in 5A football. And then the eight still standing in 6A, Bradley Central at Maryville, Cookville at Oakland, Cane Ridge hosting Brentwood and Memphis White Station playing at White Haven. And that's your... High school football game still going on in Northeast Tennessee and in the great state of Tennessee. In Northeast Tennessee, the only ones still standing, as we said, are the Greenville Green Devils. Division one, the Mr. Football finalist. In 1A, Parker McKinney from Coalfield, Brandon Moore from Fayetteville, from Huntington will be Cade Pearson. In 2A football, Mr. Football finalist in the state, Jacob Sailors from Marion County, Gavin Stanfield from Waverly Central, Aaron Swafford from Miggs County. In 3A football, uh, Kalen Granberry from Raleigh, Egypt, Darius James from Fairview, uh, Jimerus Parker from Pearl Cone. In 4A football, Cade Ballard from Greenville, Stanton Martin from Anderson County. They'll play against each other Friday night at Burley Stadium in Greenville. Both quarterbacks, Ballard for Greenville. Of course, Martin lit up Elizabeth in last Friday night for Anderson County. And then Dante Smith from Spring Hill, the other 4A Mr. Football finalist. In 5A football, you have Ty Carter from Summit, Jordan Davis from Southwind, Cade Mays from Knox Catholic. That's the young man that everybody is hoping, uh, even though he decommitted, that he will not decommit, but he will come back and play football for Tennessee once they land the coach. But he has decommitted from Tennessee as of now. In 6A football, Savion Davis from Riverdale, Dylan Hopkins from Maryville, and Jalen Williams from Germantown are your Mr. Football finalist in 6A football in the uh, great state of Tennessee. In Virginia, high school football playoffs, let's run those down for you, involving our local teams out of southwest Virginia. And so we have those for you coming up. Region D on Friday night, you have Chohowie and Hurley at 7 o'clock, Patrick Henry and J.I. Burton at 7 o'clock in Region D in uh, Class 1, Region A. And in Region D, again, Chohowie, Hurley, Patrick Henry, and J.I. Burton. Also, you have in Region D, in Class 2, Union will take on Marion at 7 o'clock on Friday night. Uh, let's scan on down through here and see in Class 4. Blah, 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 blah. We are looking down through here and seeing... Scan, and I think that's it, involving Southwest Virginia teams. Mm, that appears to be so. So that's your Southwest Virginia high school football playoffs as well coming up on Friday. Friday night, everything starts at 7 in Southwest Virginia. It's the Tom Thomas Sports Show. We're live again on the road, as we are, at Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. And so... We'll get that gift box and come over and show that to you here in just a minute. On the ice last night, Calgary skates past St. Louis 5-4. to four. Carolina skates past Dallas 5-1. to one. Tonight on the ice, the Predators in Nashville against the Washington Capitals. Buffalo skates at Pittsburgh against the Penguins. Columbus at Montreal. The Panthers at Dallas. The Flyers in Minnesota. The Coyotes skate in Winnipeg against the Jets. Edmonton playing host to Vegas. And Vancouver will be in L.A. to skate against the Kings. NBA last night, your winners. Washington. The Knickerbockers, Milwaukee, New Orleans, Minnesota, the Lakers, Portland, Golden State, the defending world champions out to an 11-3 record as they beat Orlando, and the 76ers get a win. Tonight, three games on tap in 
the NBA, Boston at Brooklyn, Toronto, the Raptors in Houston, the Battle of the Rockets, and San Antonio, the Spurs, going across state to battle the Dallas Mavericks. That's a look at the NBA and the National Hockey League on this Tuesday, November the 14th. Quick break. We'll be right back. We'll go to the phone and check in with our dear friend Eddie Pless, the athletic director from Elizabeth, and see what's going on with the Cyclones, and more importantly, promote the Chick-fil-A Classic coming up next month, December the 20th to the 22nd at Elizabeth and High School. He joins us coming up next year, live at Phil's Dream Pit, show number 634 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Do you need an event catered? At Phil's Dream Pit, we cater for gatherings over 50 people. Weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, company picnics, sporting banquets, to name a few. We can set up, clean up, and of course serve. We also offer value packs that include all the food. You pick that up and serve it yourself. Check out our webpage at philsdreampit.com. That's philsdreampit.com. Phil's Dream Pit, Eastern Star Exit on I-26, open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And we're a phone call away at 423-349-349. Six four three seven three four nine six four three seven. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles, to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Welcome to the Tom Douglas Sports Show. Let's go to the phonies there. Eddie Pless, the Elizabeth and Athletic Director. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing great, Tom. How are you? Just fine, sir. Thanks for checking in with us. And again, Elizabeth and Cyclone football's ended. Basketball's getting ready to crank up. But let's talk. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's talk about this big tournament you got coming up next month, December the 20th through the 22nd. You got a great star studded teams coming in from out of town. Tell me about the Chick fil A Classic next month in Elizabeth. All right, this will be our third year, uh, and we have moved it to before Christmas, and we do have, we feel like we've got a quality field. We've got four locals, uh, which will be, of course, Elizabeth and Happy Valley, Chucky Doak, and Sullivan Central. Uh, all those teams have participated uh, in the tournament before, and we feel like that's a good local flavor. Uh, from the teams that are going to travel, we've got First Assembly of Concord, North Carolina, which is a premier program there. Um, I think won a state championship in North Carolina a couple of years ago. Uh, we also have uh, Lighthouse Academy, uh, which is from Antioch, Tennessee. 
as uh, prep school and uh, they're kind of our wild card no less about them other than they're extremely athletic and um, they were very excited to come our way also have the University School of Nashville which is one of the best uh, you know one of the better uh, private schools in the state of Tennessee and then we have Memphis Ridgeway coming all the way across the state and of course anytime you have a Memphis team they're going to bring a different look and they're um, a different style of play and they're you're just usually going to be very good and I believe they're pretty much um, up there they play Memphis East and some of the, the better teams in the state of Tennessee and are very competitive with them so we look forward to, to having that field this year. We're talking to Eddie Pless on the phone again live with us, the Elizabeth and Athletic Director. So it's coming up on the 20th to the 22nd. This is the third annual, and so it's reached a point now where folks, the word's out, and folks are they're wanting to come to Elizabeth and be in this Christmas tournament, aren't they? Yes, they are. We have uh, we have a lot of interest. Um, you know, we had 12 teams last year, and we actually, the four-day tournament format wouldn't fit before Christmas like we wanted to, so we cut it back to eight but we may look at at expanding it again in the future. We just want to test the waters before Christmas um, instead of after Christmas. Um, So, yeah, we're we're excited that people want to come here. Absolutely. We're talking to Eddie Plus. So what what kind of ticket prices, what's it going to be to get in next month? Well, basically, we're keeping it the same. It was $5. We'll get you in for the day. Eventually, we know we'll have to change that, but right now that's where it is. So it's really a you know it's a great ticket to see you know four games each day, um, you know with a full concession stand there you know available and um, we feel like our you know our gymnasium is a very comfortable place to watch a game with the you know the seats with the backs on them and the arms it's just a it's just a good venue we think for people to watch basketball and people who want to see you know local teams compete against some of the better people around the southeast. Talking to athletic director Eddie Pless from Elizabeth, and again, he's always eager to come on talk about his kids. Football's over, but uh, we're switching gears now, transitioning to basketball and swimming and wrestling at Elizabeth High School. Tell us about that. Yes, we actually have our first home swim meet, swim meet this Friday, and our wrestlers are getting cranked up with their first meet. Have like a little preseason thing this weekend, and then they'll get cranked up next week. Um, you know, they're all working hard. You know, our coaches and our kids are very committed to their programs. Um, you know, we have the guys and the girls in both the swimming and the, the wrestling. Um, we, of course, have a couple of national ranked um, girl wrestlers, which we're really excited to see them perform. And um, so, uh, Haley Brown, and uh, it's just, uh, I mean, she's just a wonderful. You know, wrestler and Samaya Wells, they both competed on the national level this year and uh, are ranked at this time. And then, of course, our basketball, you know, we with uh, Coach Barry Johnson, Coach Lucas Honeycutt, they're ready to lead our programs there. Uh, guys and girls, so, you know, the guys just got a little bit of a boost back, got the football kids back, you know, after well, we wish they were still playing. But if they're not uh, not playing football, we're glad they're out on the court. And I know yesterday was a really good day of practice, getting those guys back on the floor. And, uh, so we look forward to seeing how they compete this year in the Three Rivers. And um, and we have you know our out of conference schedule. I'll tell you real quick, you know we have you know we have Science Hill, we have Dobbins Bennett, and we've got Crockett. That's three of the better AAA teams in our area. And our coaches, you know, they want to play the best competition they can because they know it's going to make the kids better um, in the long run. So, again, you know, we look forward to great seasons in all three of those sports. You got it. And I know we always want to let you promote what's going on over at Elizabeth. You do a great job doing that. Always positive. Always had a upbeat about the student athletes. So, what do you want to leave us with today, my friend? Well, just like I said, we're awful proud of our fall athletics. They they made us proud in everything that they did, uh, and we look forward to a winter season. It's just we've just got quality kids here that like representing our school and our community, and um, they want to make that they want to make them proud, and uh, they're working hard to do that. So we appreciate our players, and our coaches, and our community so much. They mean a lot to our school. You got it. Hey, great report, my friend. Thanks for checking in with us. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Okay, sounds great. Thank you, Tom. Yes, sir. Good man right there. Appreciate right, it very bye-bye. much. Our okay. buddy, again, Eddie Pless, again from Elizabeth and High School, the athletic director. Tony Tate's in the house. Tony's getting a little. What you got over, big dog? What'd you get? 
pork platter. What what was your side? You got taters? Them hash tater, them hash brown casserole set you free, won't it? <laughs> we go back a ways to what? How many years ago, DB? Yeah, thirty-three years ago. Woo. By the way, speaking of DB, you're gonna be in for a treat. We got to nail this thing down. But one Thursday coming up soon, we're gonna do a two-hour show with Little Ricky with Rick Spivey. We'll come and just we're gonna talk sports at Champion Chevrolet and just have a big time. So we're working on that, trying to get him out of his day job long enough to come hang out with us. But he and I did ball games at DB for 21 years, and so we're gonna get him to come back and sit down and just give him a microphone and a seven-second delay <laughs> and let him tell stories. Tyler, uh, little Ricky Sicky, Lord have mercy. 21 years, that guy. He's a piece of work. Hey, quick break. We'll be right back. Coming up, we've got more folks to talk to. We're going to take a look at Major League Baseball. What's going on in baseball? Got some awards handed out last night. Also, some uh, some guys being sought after here in the offseason. It's the hot stove league right now. A lot of uh, off-field movements here in the offseason. So, uh, one of those being some of the Oriole relievers have been looked at. Billy Hamilton of the Reds getting shopped now by Cincinnati as they continue to kind of clean out the house, which I don't know how much more than clean, but they've cleaned out a bunch. And so we'll do that and more coming up right over this time out. Show number 634, like us and share us. And, oh, before we go to the break, be sure to remind you how you can win 25 bucks in the picking panel. Let me pull up the file. The, boom, there it is right there. Now, you can just go to TomTaylorSports.com backslash football and pick 10 game college games to see how you can do. And last week, Larry Perry from Elizabeth was our winner. Here are the games to pick this week. All we need is your first name, last name, and uh, who you think is going to win, and your email address. That's it. So if you win in state or out of state, we've got about 12 states where the folks are listening and watching. We appreciate that. We'll mail you a check if you win it. Last week, Larry Perry from Elizabeth was our winner. Here's the 10 games as we got some good ones. LSU at Tennessee, Michigan at Wisconsin, Pittsburgh at Virginia Tech. I'm going to say this with Brody, Brady Hoke as the head football coach. You're going to see a new spirited football team in, in Knoxville. Uh, Butch is gone, whether you like it or not, whether you liked him or not. These kids have kind of got the blanket lift up, lifted up off of them now, so they can kind of go out and play football for two weeks now. And so been a lot of pressure, a lot of stress on these kids, and they are kids. So I think you'll see a different football team. Will they win? I don't know if they'll win. But I think you'll see a different spirited football team in Knoxville this weekend against LSU. That's one of the picking games. Michigan and Wisconsin, huge in the Big Ten. Pittsburgh and Virginia Tech and the Hokies bounce back after getting whacked pretty good last weekend. Georgia hosting Kentucky. Georgia got whacked by Auburn. And so the Wildcats of Kentucky having a really good year. They're already bowl eligible going into Athens on Saturday. You can pick that one. North Carolina State at Wake Forest, UCLA at Southern Cal, the Bragg and Rides to Los Angeles, SMU at Memphis, and again, Memphis with Riley Ferguson, the quarterback. We say this every day. His daddy's the pastor at Gunnings Baptist Church up here near Sullivan Central. Riley at one point was a Tennessee volunteer, transfers to Memphis, and has put them on the map. They're in the top 25 again this week, so Memphis hosting the Mustangs of SMU. You can pick that game. Who do you think will win between Texas and Morgantown against West Virginia? Who do you think will win between Arizona and Oregon? And who do you think will win between the Buccaneers of East Tennessee State and Chattanooga? All you have to do to win and to participate, and it's real simple, probably take you, probably took me long to tell you would for you to pick them. Just go to right here, TomTaylorSports.com backslash football. Our champion so far this season is Raymond Tankersley out of Kingsport. He's won three times, won himself 25 bucks each time. And so all you got to do is go to TomTaylorSports.com backslash football. First name, last name, town you're from, and who you think is going to win and an email address. It's just that simple. That way, if you win, we can get a hold of you. So, quick break. We'll be right back. We'll talk baseball. We're live again at Phil's Dream Pit off of the Eastern Star exit of Interstate 26. The quest for perfect barbecue. This place is packed in here for lunch. It typically is. We'll be right back right after this on show number 634 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but Owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable 
with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Do you need an event catered? At Fields Dream Pit, we cater for gatherings over 50 people. Weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, company picnics, sporting banquets, to name a few. We can set up, clean up, and of course serve. We also offer value packs that include all the food. You pick that up and serve it yourself. Check out our webpage at fieldsdreampit.com. That's fieldsdreampit.com. Phil's Dream Pit, Eastern Star Exit on I-26, open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And we're a phone call away at 423-349-6437. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin, even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30-plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad-spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Nope, I'm not Diana. Let's fix that. I could be, but I don't want to be because we want her to be on the screen because she is the lady. Boom, there she is. That's a whole lot better. Here we go. This is the Thanksgiving season, so here we go. Give thanks. Be thankful for what we got all the time. It can always be worse. So, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Just fine. Bye, Tony Tate. Take care, buddy. Good to see you. Pull pork. He's hit up. This gentleman I had, what did you say you had? First name is Kevin. Kevin pulled pork, and your sides are slaw and baked beans. Slaw, yes. Ooh, yeah. The place. Here's the cool thing: we open up at 11 o'clock, and they got their nose up against the glass. Folks do because they're ready to come in and get this great food. Here is well, here's a little show and tell. This is a really cool gift giving idea. This is the Phil's Dream Pit Sweet Fire Barbecue and the Sweet Sweet Fire Barbecue Sauce and Sweet. Sweet bar original. We call it original. Called original. Yeah, the original and the sweet fire. What I wanted to say. In this neat box, see all we need on top of that is a red bow. You'd be ready to go to give that out for someone. That'd be a great office gift for a boss, coworker, Sunday school teacher, really for anybody. And so tell me how much that retails for. Um, the bottles are four ninety nine each. We don't charge for the box. So ten bucks plus tax basically. So great stocking stuffer. Uh you say, Tom, we're not even Thanksgiving yet. I know, but it's 40 days away from Christmas, so a lot of folks come get these for co-workers and different folks, yes, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, and also gift certificates. Tell me about that. We have we have gift certificates in any denomination that you want to get them. If you're a, a uh, owner of a company, you're looking for a good place. To, this is a mom-and-pop local company, not a chain. That's what I like about it. Be loyal, buy local, and eat local. So come out here and get gift certificates for all your employees. It can be in any increment, right? Yes. Yeah. So and be a great stocking stuff, or not stocking stuff, but maybe when you're passing out whatever you pass out for the employees at Christmas, uh, one of these or a gift certificate or both. So now uh, let's see. we got something new on the menu, pulled chicken. Pulled chicken. Tell us about it. It's awesome. <laughs> he awesome. cooks bone-in chicken breasts and mm-hmm. pulls it and Puts just a little sweet sauce on it to keep it moist in the pan, and mm-hmm. 
Serve it as a platter with toast or on a bun as a sandwich. Mm-hmm. And it is awesome. Very good. That's what I get every time I come out of here. Uh, they've, they said, try this one. It was about, what, two, three weeks ago you brought yep. it in? Yep. Try this time. What do you think? It's like, whoa. So People have been like, asking for it for a long time. Yeah. And understandably so, it's great. And everything is smoked right here. Yes, sir. So I want folks to know that it's not coming in on some truck. It's done out back with the smoker by Phil and uh, who else helps? Connor. Connor, the pit masters. So that's what we call them. But, uh, again, at Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for original, uh, or I'm sorry, the quest for perfect barbecue and the original sauce and the sweet fire sauce is uh, is boxed up here and ready to go for Christmas. You saw a lot of these last year, didn't we you? We did, yep. yep. Now, probably too late for thanksgiving but christmas you allow folks to get turkeys and hams we do that. we smoke uh, spiral sliced hams mm-hmm. they run seven to nine pounds we mm-hmm. smoke turkey breasts they run two to three pounds mm-hmm. and um, have them available well i guess this year they'll be available saturday chris christmas is monday right yes yeah so they'll be available to pick up on saturday yep. the 23rd need to order them by the week before I had some of the uh, the smoked ham last year. And actually, we're going to have some of the ham today. We're going to sell it as sandwiches if someone wants to try it. I'll take some. <laughs> Cause I had some last year. I had a big old thing of mashed potatoes. had gravy and sweet potato casserole last year and some green beans. I had some of this uh, smoked ham. Out That's of this good. World. Oh, out of this world. And then I nuked it. Uh, after we had sat down and had the dinner, came back and nuked it. Fired it back up and watched some football, eating some of that ham after I nuked in the microwave. Good stuff. And so they can order now for Christmas, correct? Um, we'll probably take orders, start taking orders after Thanksgiving. Right after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay. We're talking to Diana, of course, the owner here at Bill's Dream Pit. All right. So there's a lot of barbecue places out there. In your humble opinion, I don't think I've ever asked you this, what do you feel like separates you guys from everybody else? Well, I, I think Phil's passion for making sure that it's the same every time you come in um, just being good people and having good food yeah, that's what I like I like it's the hi guys how you doing what you what you guys got today pork and turkey first name Mark and Rusty Mark Rusty in here getting pork and turkey. And I like to smoke turkey, too. Yeah. Uh, Kevin's over here still wolfing down that slaw. So, uh, <laughs> and then on... <laughs> Kevin said barbecue is gone. It's been vacuumed out. He ate it. It's good stuff. And so then you t- top everything off with some great desserts, too. We do. The banana pudding. We have banana pudding. Lord. We have a blueberry cobbler that has pineapple and pecans in it. We heat it up and put ice cream on top. Or we have a brownie dream, which is a double layer brownie with a symphony candy bar in the middle of it. Heat that up and put ice cream and chocolate syrup on it. See, when you pull in the parking lot, you smell the smoker. That's what I like. Yeah. Pull in, it's like, oh, it's out of this world. Uh, he uses hickory and different woods to smoke it. And so yeah, I think he's uh, the hams that he smoked this morning, I think he put a little cherry, cherry on that, too. Mm good stuff i'm telling you again the uh quest for perfect barbecue is their logo and it's awesome we love coming out here once a month and then promoting these folks as we promote them every day on the show we'll come out and broadcast every uh once a month and so here it is again here is the uh pot kind of we call it kind of a gift pack gift box yeah gift box gift box for 10 bucks plus tax again phil's dream bit again you have the uh sweet barbecue uh, this original sweet and the sweet fire so the fire's got a little bit of I was a little bit of kick to it, right? Little, not much. So I mean, I I can eat it, yeah. and I don't really like hot stuff. I so. Don't either, so yeah, it's kind of just a nice, just a, just enough, but not too much. Yep. And so when you come in to eat, there's some other flavors that we don't have boxed up to sell. We got the vinegar, we have the mustard. All right, but now here's the best part. You know what sells because here is the original sweet in the bigger bottle, and here is the sweet fire in the bigger bottle that's what's got in here is that tells you that's their most popular you move them too don't you oh we do yeah and we also have a smoking hot that we don't leave on the table for <laughs> those people that say you can't get it hot enough yeah that ain't me and you though is no it? it's not me and you, no, me and you. <laughs> i'm kind of a ninny i like the stuff a little bit mild but but this right here again the uh sweet fire has got a little kick to it but it's not gonna it's not gonna burn you up so good stuff this is good now uh kids menu when the kids come in to eat, you have a great kids menu too. Tell me we about do. That. We have uh, hot dog, 
all the kids meals come with chips and a drink we have a hot dog meal a pork sandwich meal they can also get a pulled chicken or turkey um, ribs or brisket and then the obvious and a peanut butter and jelly and just for those kids that aren't ready for barbecue yeah. Oh, yeah. peanut butter and jelly nothing wrong with that that's country there peanut butter and jelly now catering I know going into the holidays you have opportunities folks need a great meal for a banquet or a Sunday school party or for whatever you tell them about your catering opportunities so we have um, we have uh, we call them dream packs to go mm -hmm. so if they're gonna have an office party of 30 to 50 uh, they can pick up the dream packs which include the meat the buns the sauce and three sides and we'll have them together in disposable pans for them, ready to serve. They just set it out and serve them. And if, if you just want to buy the meat with the pound, you can do that too, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, tell us about that. Were you just going to come in and buy meat in quantity, take it home, and, and do with it as you need? Tell us how that works. So the pork, the turkey, the pulled chicken, the brisket, we say that a pound will have make four servings. So you can buy that by the pound or the half a pound. We also have, uh, um, of course, the ribs. You can buy half rack, full rack. Awesome. Hello to Beth down in Georgetown, South Carolina, watching the show, and also hello to the folks up in hello to the folks up in West Virginia watching, back where I'm from. So we got a passel of people watching in West Virginia. So when y'all come down here for Speedway and Lights, y'all need to come on down here to Phil's Dream Pit, and it's right here, very easy to find, Interstate 26, Eastern Star Exit. We're right here. You can't miss us. So, uh, oh, last but not least, ribs. Brag on the ribs. Tell me about the ribs. Brag on the ribs. Yeah. So he has a Memphis style dry rub. Mm. That's uh, mm. the best seller, I think. He also has a uh, a rib that he puts a sweet sauce on while he's smoking it because some people like them mushy. Uh, not mushy, but uh, saucy. Saucy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just created a new word. Saucy. Yeah. We want them saucy. Now, who do you think is going to be the new football coach in Tennessee? You know what? I have no idea. Yeah. Now, what Haven't guys... seen the news. I didn't even know till yesterday or last fired. night yeah, when I saw the news he'd been fired. Yeah, and I don't really – whoever well, it is will – One of the guys is one of your guys, Morgan, Chip Kelly. They're looking in pretty heavy. Remember Chip Kelly? No. Nope. Coached at Oregon? No. Nope. Well, anyway. Anyway. She's, <laughs> she's from out there, and that's one of the coaches they're looking at. He was very successful. He uh, stepped away from the program from football, and now they're trying to. He was 47 and seven in three years. That's a pretty good record. So they're looking at him to be one of the coaches come to Tennessee. So there you go. Hours are open at Phil's Dream Pit. How is what? Hours are open. Oh, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to seven. Website is philsdreampit.com. There you go. She's awesome. She, you can't get any past this lady. <laughs> Love this lady right here. Give me. Some, she's awesome. So I know you get back to work. I appreciate you very much. And. Uh, you come back in a little while and talk again? Do Is what? Can you come back and do it all over again in a few minutes? A little while? She loves to do it. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> okay, that's her cue. She's out. Elvis is leaving the building. There you go. She's gone. But she did a great job for someone who didn't like to do it, I can tell you that. So, anyway, quick break. We'll be right back. As promised, we'll take a look at Major League Baseball. Uh, coming up later in the show, we're going to hear from. Uh, we're going to hear from Jeremiah Clark. We're going to hear from Rob Cole live from Bays Mountain Park. We'll come in and tell us what's going on up on the mountain. And got some other folks lined up to go as well as we're live here at Phil's Dream Pit. And the quest for perfect barbecue is the old motto. And they do a fantastic job, I can tell you that. Quick break, as promised. We'll be right back right after you hear this on the Tom Zoom Sports Show. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but Owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City opens six days a week. Call today 
at 913-3111. Do you need an event catered? At Phil's Dream Pit, we cater for gatherings over 50 people, weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, company picnics, sporting banquets, to name a few. We can set up, clean up, and, of course, serve. We also offer value packs that include all the food. You pick that up and serve it yourself. Check out our webpage at philsdreampit.com. That's philsdreampit.com. Phil's Dream Pit, Eastern Star Exit on I-26, open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., and we're a phone call away at 423-349-6437-34. Four nine six four three seven. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles, to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. I'm with the Tom Douglas Sports Show again. We are live again to Phil's Dream Pit. The quest for perfect barbecue on this Tuesday, November the 14th. Tomorrow will be at Chick-fil-A. Thursday will be at Champion Chevrolet. And Friday will be at Food City on the north state of Franklin and Johnson City. A big sale going on at Food City. Uh, we're really, really proud to announce that we have uh, we've signed our contract. We're going to be with Food City all the way through next year. So I love that. Uh, we'll be out of Food City's every Friday broadcasting live. It'll be year number eight or nine we've been doing that. So... Contract sign. We're moving on for 2018 to Food City, different food cities. All right, here. Oh, wrong, wrong camera. Here it is again. This is your prize pack. Again, this is for 10 bucks. You cannot beat it. Sweet Fire and the original, uh, original sweet barbecue sauce right here on the, right here. And let's see where am I at? Let me point properly. Here. There is the Sweet Fire as you can see, and then here is the original. Uh, 10 bucks plus tax. Can't beat it. Got them here all day long. Good stuff here again at Phil's Dream Pit. All right, let's take a look at Major League Baseball. New York Yankees have paused their ongoing search for manager until the general manager meetings conclude on Thursday. Once the process resumes, Brian Cashman will be talking to a couple of former Yankees about the job. Aaron Boone, uh, ESPN announcer, and San Francisco Giant bench coach Hensley Mullins will be uh, part of the process to talk to for the New York Yankees. Uh, meanwhile, Detroit Tigers skipper Brad Osmus won't be interviewing for the gig, desiring instead to take a year off. So Osmus, who got Canva Detroit, some folks said he may go after the Yankee job. They may come after him. He said, nope, I'm going to take a, a year off to spend some time with family and friends. So uh, he's off the radar for now. Brad Osmus, the former manager of the Detroit Tigers. A few weeks ago, Carlos Beltran won his first career World Series with the Astros. As it turns out, it will be his last. Announcing his retirement yesterday with a uh, heartfelt letter. <clears throat> this guy appeared in parts of 20 big league seasons. He made nine all-star teams, won three gold gloves, two silver slugger awards, also won the 1999 Rookie of the Year award, hit 279 for his career, became the fifth player in history to homer more than 400 times and steal more than 300 bases, joining Barry Bonds, Alex Rodriguez, Willie Mays, and Andre Dawson. It's pretty strong there, so... Beltron finished short of various magical marks. He didn't make the 3,000 hit parade. He had 27, 25, and 435 home runs. Still appears to have a legitimate shot to get into the Baseball Hall of Fame on down the line somewhere, but Carlos Beltron stepping away from the game 
as of yesterday. When you go 64-98 like the San Francisco Giants did this past year, means an awful lot of things went wrong. It takes a total team effort to be that bad to lose 98 games. The pitching, the offense, the defense, they all kind of went together to lose 98 games. So this offseason, San Francisco targeting their outfield defense is an area in need of improvement. Over the weekend reported they have trade interest in Red Sox center Center fielder Jackie Bradley Jr. And now the Giants have been connected to Reds speedster Billy Hamilton to be traded from the Reds to the San Francisco Giants. Hamilton, without question, one of the top defensive center fielders in baseball. But will he hit? So far, the answer is no. Hit 247 in 2017. Owns a 246 career batting average. So Hamilton, great in the outfield, but not much at the plate. But again, the Giants are looking at him and showing some interest in picking him up for 2018. Also out of the American League, the Baltimore Orioles at a crossroads right now. They went 75 wins, 87 losses last year and finished in last place in 2017. Next offseason, core players like Manny Machado, Zach Britton, and Adam Jones can all become free agents. So did the O's try to make one last run with this group in 2018 or take a step back and rebuild? It's a great question. For now, Baltimore isn't at least willing to listen to trade offers. One of the core players, Josh Britton. Cubs and Dodgers have spoken to the Orioles about Britton, and other teams can be on the on the hook for him as well. So uh, the Orioles are said to be at least listening on Britton since they need to reallocate monies for the rotation. He's expected to get upwards of $13 million via arbitration after making $11 million last year. So the Dodgers, one of two players for Britain last summer, but ultimately they traded for two lefties instead, Tony Singrani and Tony Watson. So Britain still out there and now being looked at a little stronger by the Cubs and the Dodgers for 2018. So stay tuned for Zach Britton maybe being relieved of his uh, pitching duties in Baltimore, moving on to either the Cubs or the Dodgers possibly for 2000. And 18. We're again live here at Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. Southeastern Conference football this weekend. Who's playing where? Let's run them down for you. You've got Alabama will go alphabetically. Alabama, the Crimson Tide with a check foot game. They got Mercer in Tuscaloosa. That means kick their tail, write them a check, send them home. The Mercer Bears out of Georgia. Arkansas taking on Mississippi State in Fayetteville. Auburn takes on uh, Louisiana Monroe in Auburn. Florida, the Gators will take on Alabama, Birmingham, who is going in as a favorite to win that ball game. The Blazers at seven and three, Florida at three and six, or three and seven. So the Gators are an underdog against Alabama, Birmingham on their field in Florida, Florida field. Georgia will host Kentucky in Athens. LSU's got Tennessee in Knoxville. Ole Miss has got Texas A&M in Oxford. Elsewhere, Missouri, the Tigers will take on Vanderbilt in Nashville, South Carolina has Mike Ayers and the Wofford Terriers in Columbia. And also you have, as we said, Tennessee taking on LSU in K-Town on Saturday night. So that's your Southeastern Conference football schedule for this week. Of course, next week is rivalry weekend across college football Thanksgiving weekend. You've got the Iron Bowl, Alabama and Auburn. You've got Florida, Florida State in Gainesville. You've got Georgia, Georgia Tech in Atlanta. You've got Kentucky and Louisville battling for the bragging rights of Kentucky. That'll be played in Lexington next week. Texas A&M and LSU. You got the Egg Bowl, Mississippi State, and Ole Miss. That'll be in Starkville this year. So got some good ones. And of course, Tennessee and Vanderbilt will wrap up the regular season of the Vols next Saturday in Nashville. So it's a rivalry weekend. Of course, you throw in the biggie, Ohio State, Michigan. You got some big games. Clemson, South Carolina, not this weekend, but next weekend. And that'll really decide, uh, kind of go a long way in deciding what's going on for the college football bowl games. We got 40 bowls this year. By the time we play the national championship, we will have played 40 college football games on the bowl parade. And the first one starts, first bunch or batch will start on December the 16th. And so it's going to be interesting to say the least. Last night on Monday Night Football, Carolina beat Miami 45 21. Thursday Night Football, the National Football League, Tennessee in Pittsburgh to battle the Steelers. That's all we talk about in the NFL. They can't stand for the National Anthem. They don't need my airtime, so uh, that's the best you'll get from me here on this show about the National Football League. Also, uh, Major League Baseball, Aaron Judge and Cody Bellinger winning Rookie of the Year honors on Monday. Kind of a no-brainer, both of those guys. Again, the 
Judge led the American League with 52 homers, the most ever by a rookie. I mean, better than Mantle, better than any guy up and down the list ever. Bellinger hit 39, had to settle for the National League's rookie record. So Ju Aaron Judge and Bellinger received every, every first place vote available from the Baseball Writers Association of America. Judge became the first Yankee to receive this award since Derek Jeter back in 1996. Bellinger gave the Dodgers a record 18th Rookie of the Year winner. How about that? So, again, you have this was the first time since both rookie awards were unanimous since 1997. Scott Rowland won it for the Phillies on that particular year in 97, and Omar Garcia Parra did it for the Boston Red Sox in 1997. That's pretty cool. First time both rookie awards were unanimous since 1997. No more Garcia Parra for Boston, and Scott Rowland of Philadelphia were the winners in that year in 1997. Again, if you missed it earlier, last night it was the Buccaneers on the road. Again, Devontavious Payne with 17 of his career high, 28 points. Bucks pull away and winning it last night in college basketball over Savannah State, 76-61 in a non-conference men's basketball game. Quick break. We'll be right back. We'll talk to our buddy Jeremiah Clark. He joins us coming up next year. We're live at Phil's Dream Pit on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, show number 634. Right back after you hear this. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at FCA.org. It's Model Year Closeout with Jim Employee pricing and 20% off on 17 models of Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. It's a great time to take advantage of closeout savings on our selection of over 300 Chevys to choose from. 17 1500 work truck, 23995, 17 track, 17 548, 17 cruise, 16 488, 17 spark, 10 950, 17 Malibu, 18 985. Closeout savings, Saturday parts and service hours, and shopping online 24 7 will leave you asking, how do they do that? At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's, it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer control than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at BrackenPaving.com. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today.
Live on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, hello to Jerry Hedrick, also in Northeast Tennessee, likes the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Thank you very much. Andrea Wilcox and Susan Bishop in Kingsport, hello, ladies. Thank you for watching. Kim Witherspoon, thank you. Beth, Mc, uh, see Beth McDowell in Georgetown, South Carolina, thank you for watching. And also got some folks up in West Virginia, also Rick Ranson, and looks so like down in Florida watching the show. Appreciate that very much as we're here live at Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. Check this out again. This is uh, this is a no-brainer. Uh, if you're a friend of mine, don't be too surprised you don't get some of this for Christmas. It's the Sweet Fire and the original Sweet Barbecue Sauce packaged up. All it needs is a red bow on it, ready to go. $10 plus tax all day long. These bottles, by the way, what, 16-ounce bottles, lots of barbecue sauce in these puppies. So, again, check them out. Again, it's right here at Phil's Dream Pit right off of Interstate. 26, the Eastern Star exit of Interstate 26, and it's uh, it's the quest for perfect barbecue. It is dynamite. All right, till December the 1st, tickets for the Food City 500 Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race started just 60 bucks. Kids 12 and under just $10. Again, season tickets, NASCAR's best value that includes five great days of short track action on the greatest track in NASCAR, Bristol Motor Speedway, on sale now. Adult tickets start just $149, and a kid's season ticket for just 20 bucks to see two weekends of racing at Bristol Motor Speedway. Order before December the 1st and get your choice of rewards like pit passes, parking, or driver's meeting access. Again, 423 Bristol, 1-866-415-4158 to order yours today, or go to bristolmotorspeedway.com. That's between now and December the 1st. Again, tickets for the Food City 500 or Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race starting at just $60. Kids 12 and under, just 10 bucks for those two races, the Cup Series races, of course, and then the season tickets. Five great days of short track racing, two in the spring, three in the fall. Adult tickets, just $149. You can do the math about that over five days. It's uh, very, very affordable, less than 30 bucks a day. Kids season ticket, just 20 dollars to go to Bristol Motor Speedway. I know last year there was a ton of kids on property in both races to see the great action. Of course, Jimmy Johnson winning the spring race, the Food City 500, and Kyle Busch swept the Bristol Motor Speedway in the fall. So those guys will be back, of course, to defend their crowns in 2018. Again, the number to call, 423-BRISTOL. We were there yesterday. Phones are ringing yesterday. 423-BRISTOL, 1-866-415-4158. And also, of course, go to the website at bristolmotorspeedway.com. That's what you're looking for, and that's uh, that's the way to go. Quick break. We'll be right back. We'll have more for you. We're live at Phil's Dream Pit. We'll take a look at some college basketball from yesterday and last night and two big matchups tonight, one versus two and four versus seven, back-to-back. Back. You like basketball, college hoops this early in the season, you got a bang-up doubleheader. We'll tell you who's playing and when they're playing right after this. From Bill's Dream Pit, show number 634 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, Lives are changed, one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. 
What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here at the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, we follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Now available at Chick-fil-A, the crossings of North Johnson City, the Hash Brown Scramble, the first breakfast bowl with Chick-fil-A. The Hash Brown Scramble, a hearty breakfast option made with Chick-fil-A signature tot style hash browns, scrambled eggs, a Monterey Jack and Cheddar Cheese blend, and a choice of sliced Chick-fil-A nuggets or sausage. Served with the jalapeno salsa, the scramble can be enjoyed in a bowl or as a burrito. The hash brown scramble bowl, 30 grams of protein when made with nuggets. The bowl and burrito start at 349. Served until 1030 every morning, Monday through Saturday. The hash brown scramble or burrito, again at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. Live again at Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue again right off Interstate 26. The Eastern Star exit open six days, let's see, open Tuesday through Saturday, five days a week. Man, they rock it. And as soon as we opened the door here today, they were packed and they're still packed having lunch. Good lunch crowd in here. Let's go to the ponies there, our buddy Jeremiah Clark with Appalachian Digital. Good afternoon, sir. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. And so, again, more props to this guy. Kudos to him, Michael Smith, the co-owners of said company, because uh, we continue to see growth on our show here in large part to what he and Michael do to enhance the show from a social media standpoint. So tell us uh, how you've helped me and how you can help uh, Bristol Motor Speedway. You're helping those folks now with their Speedway and Lights website and some other folks. So jump in there and tell them how you can help other folks like you've helped me in Bristol Motor Speedway. Yeah, so at Appalachian Digital, we, we always like to say that um, we, we want to help you tell your story. You know, everyone has a story, everyone has a background, and we want to help you be able to tell that story uh, in a way that's compelling to your clients and your customers. Um, and as a small business, you know, we were founded in 2009. Uh, we started out working uh, at the time almost exclusively with churches uh, and nonprofits, and then since then we've, we've grown from there. But working with those smaller organizations, we understand what it's like to be working on a smaller budget. You know, a lot of churches, um, and a lot of small nonprofit businesses don't necessarily have um, a large uh, amount of money to spend on websites. So we understand how to meet their needs um, and provide services and value to them um, on a budget that's not going to break their bank. And you do it and do it well. So you got a mom and pop like me. I'm a one horse operation. And then you got Bristol Motor Speedway. Speedwaylights.org. I've been to the website. Phenomenal website. Doing very, very good. And of course, it doesn't even start till Friday night, but it gets a lot of hits already. So point being, you can use a big corporation or you can help a, a small one-horse operation like myself. So either way, you're ready to roll up your sleeves and help out, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're always available. We, we love to meet with individuals in person um, just so we can find out more about them. It's a lot more uh, personable in person um, and easier to find out more about them uh, when you actually meet face-to-face -face with people. So we're always about sitting down with people um, and getting that face-to-face -face interaction. And it's not just local. You help folks out of town, too. So if you're out there watching and there are folks out of state watching the show, you think, well, he's just a local guy in East Tennessee. He can't help me. Au contraire, you can. Can you not? That's true. We have uh, active clients in Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia. 
um, and uh, expanding from there. So yeah, absolutely. Um, in this in this day and age, one of the great things about the modern economy is that you're no longer limited to just uh, businesses and clients and customers um, in your um, immediate surrounding environment. You know, in this day and time, you can live in the United States and have active business going on with China or Japan or India. Um, we're not to that point yet, but but point being, in, in this day and age, you can work with individuals anywhere. Well, again, give yourself a little credit here. Tell them the numbers when you took over, I guess it was a year ago, you took over in November. Wow, it's been a year, but you took over. Oh, wow. It, my it has been a year. <laughs> yeah, helped, helped my social media, and it's just been lights out. I mean, it's totally transformed this show. So tell folks how you've helped and, and how important social media is for a business, whether it's big or small. We're going to have to throw you a, a one-year uh, celebration party. I completely skipped my, mind, skipped my mind that it's been a year. Yeah, when, when we first came over um, and started helping you, um, at the time you were still on the radio but was wanting to get some social media and online presence. Uh, so we came on board, built a website for you that individuals could subscribe to your newsletter, uh, which the newsletter still goes out weekly. You can subscribe to that at TomTaylorSports.com. Um, and then we were also doing some Facebook and Twitter posts for you. Um, that slowly evolved over time. We started doing some basic Facebook Live with you, um, starting out just using your cell phone, which is what most people do. But, you know, the great thing about Facebook Live um, and other similar technologies is that you can really make a true um, broadcast program using modern technology um, and not at some outrageous uh, expensive cost. Um, you know, working with you, we've got you set up with a webcam as well as a, uh, a, standy, a standing free camera um, and a couple of microphones. And now you're putting on full-fledged productions that, you know, it's not the same as just pulling up your cell phone and saying, hey, I'm on Facebook Live. You've got a screen there in front of you where you're displaying people's names, who you're talking to. We can see what's going on around you. Um, you can make phone calls on Skype, like like what you're doing right now. So really, the the technology and what you can do with it, uh, this in this day and age, is incredible. But yeah, for, since taking since coming on board with you, um, I think that very first November a year ago, I think your total views for that for that month was maybe five or six thousand on Facebook, um, and then we've grown that to where month over month now you're you're pushing a hundred thousand. Um, every single month, and it's continuing to grow. Um, every single month, you have new followers, new subscribers, uh, new people entering your contests. Um, so, yeah, just continued growth month over month. Speaking of new contests, we're coming up uh, the Monday after Thanksgiving, a chance for you to win cold cash for Christmas. I keep saying cold cash, but cash for Christmas. We'll give you a chance to win at least $100 for Christmas, if not more. So we're very excited about that. Just be checking out the website. Uh, here and of course the Facebook page. So, really, Jeremiah, with my situation, you've got me set up where they can see and watch this show. Number one, it's archived, but you can watch this show either on Facebook or on the regular website. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. We also all of your videos we we download them and uh, upload them up, up to YouTube. So yes, you can just scroll through your video section um, on your Facebook shows page and go find any previous videos. But we do also upload those to YouTube. Um, and if you subscribe to Tom Taylor's uh, weekly Saturday email, we always link those videos in there as well. So every single week, you can get a one a one stop email that has a digest of all of the previous week's videos, including um, anything special you do. So not just your normal eleven to one o'clock shows Monday through Friday, but your interviews with Elizabeth and high school coach Sean Witten. Um, when you go and call any baseball games or basketball games, we always link that stuff in there as well. You got it. Of course, we just taped our final Sean Witten show today. Just got done taping it this morning. We'll put it up tonight on YouTube, and that gets a lot of play. Uh, it's really incredible, Jeremiah. You and I have talked about this. When you do local sports, in this case, Elizabeth and Coach's show, Sean Witten showing the highlights through Huddle. And we're going to be, and we did some ball games with Duggar. We're doing Elizabeth and baseball in the spring, and we do some Elizabeth and basketball. So when we put local sports up here on the Facebook page and the website page, it really jumps out, doesn't it? it really gets the numbers. Oh. Oh, absolutely, especially when we can start tagging, uh, you know, individuals and groups that are interested in it. Um, going back to the Sean Witten as an example, there's several extremely active Facebook groups out of Elizabethan that are all about the Cyclones. Um, and as soon as you tag them on these video posts, they, they eat it up, um, they swarm on it, uh, they share it, they like it, they comment on it. And, you know, that's one thing that I always encourage, you know, that I would encourage anyone that's watching, listening to your show, as well as anyone else else out there um, for their businesses as well. You know, always share um, stuff 
and retweet. So share Facebook, retweet on, on Twitter. You know, yes, it, it does make a difference on stats when you just go through and like stuff. But really where you start getting traction on any of your materials when you start sharing other people's content. So, you know, when you watch Tom's show, you like it, share it. Um, same for any other business out, out there that you like and support. Share it and more people are going to see it and support it. There you go. And if you want to see samples of what this man does, he is, is uh, uh, co-owner, team member, Michael Smith. Check him out at AppalachianDigital.com. They're there. And, again, uh, they do a phenomenal job. Can't thank him enough. And, and again, here's the other thing, too. He'll set up a uh, – because he's not doing it for free. He's got to eat, too. But he'll set up a budget whereby uh, it certainly fits what I need financially. And it'll – you know, he, if it's a big company – a mom and pop company, a single horse operation like myself, uh, they're willing to work with him. They do, and so they do a great job. Well, you want to leave us with a big guy from Appalachian Digital? Um, you know, I should have been prepared for that question because you always ask me that question. Um, I know that Rob Cole is coming up next, so tell Rob Cole at Base Mountain Park that I said hello. Um, he's a phenomenal guy. Um, right now, with the leaves changing everything, you know, there's not going to be too many more weeks left of leaves, but uh, I would encourage everybody to maybe try to get up to Base Mountain in the next week or two while there's still some colorful leaves up there and uh, just spend some time outdoors uh, and, and enjoy the scenery. You got it. Well put. Hey, I'll talk to you soon. Great job. I can't thank you enough, my friend. Appreciate you. No. No problem. Always a pleasure. Yep. Good man right there. Our buddy Jeremiah Clark joining us again from Appalachian Digital, AppalachianDigital.com. Check them out in course, as we said, SpeedwayandLights.org. They're now handling the website for Speedway and Lights. That starts on a Friday night, as you learned yesterday. SpeedwayandLights.org. I love it. Quick break. We'll be right back. Who's up next? Who's coming up? Alicia Phelps or Rob Cole? Rob Cole? It's your all's call. Just tell me who I can billboard who's crunched for time rob she what this is this is called beauty and the beast over here right now so and you know who the beast is it ain't alicia it's old cole he's the be- he's the beast and she be the beauty so that's it yeah that's it that's sexy We'll take a break. Somebody will be in the seat next here on the top of the sports show. Maybe a cat fight, but somebody will be with us next. We'll talk either Base Mountain Park or tourism or both next here in the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here at the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, we follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400. 
your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Now available at Chick-fil-A, the crossings of North Johnson City, the Hash Brown Scramble, the first breakfast bowl with Chick-fil-A. The Hash Brown Scramble, a hearty breakfast option made with Chick-fil-A signature tot-style hash browns, scrambled eggs, a Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese blend, and a choice of sliced Chick-fil-A nuggets or sausage. Served with the jalapeno salsa, the scramble can be enjoyed in a bowl or as a burrito. The hash brown scramble bowl, 30 grams of protein when made with nuggets. The bowl and burrito start at 349. Served until 1030 every morning, Monday through Saturday. The hash brown scramble or burrito, again at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. Back live again to the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Let's see, we got to get the camera bigger to get her in. There she look at her. <laughs> There's my lady. Let's do this. Let's let's blow out Cole, and let's do this. I want to get her, the bigger camera on so we. Oh. Get, there we go. There's the lady. Look at her, ladies and gentlemen. Alicia. Look how kinda, tall you look. She's kind of like a movie star, ain't she, Cole? No. She, um, yeah. I look. There you go. She enhances the camera how's that the executive director of the northeast tennessee tourism association i do look big in this picture. well you're big and i'm little so <laughs> this is a true comparison we love this lady how long have we known each other we go back a long About way 10 years now yeah it's our friend of our surrey today mm-hmm. our friend anniversary and how long have i met see when did i meet kevin seven or eight years ago well probably right when we first started dating i guess so yeah. that's about right yeah so and you want to show them the ring? It's not go. new, though. <laughs> no, but it's still there. Three years. We've yeah, been three years? Okay, I put I the call, ring on I it. I call it a forever fiancé. <laughs> it's what we are. We're happy about it. So. A forever fiancé. Yep. All right. Christmas. Let's talk. She's the executive director of the NETA, which is Northeast Tennessee Tourism Association. Sports. Yeah, there's sports in there. We're going to talk a little bit of sports, but we're also going to talk. We're 40 days away from Christmas. we got parades uh, galore, all kinds of things that folks come into town for. We were on at Bristol Motor Speedway yesterday. We were talking to Claudia Bird. I think she told me 12 or 13 states of people come in to Bristol for the Speedway and Lights, which starts on Friday night. So that's tourism dollars because they can yep. come in. they got to put gas in their vehicle. They may stay overnight. They may go to the restaurant get something to eat. That's tourism. I mean, Am I right in saying it's tourism yes. dollars? Yes. Yeah. So tell me about it. Christmas usually brings a lot of folks in our region, Yeah. Right? So I won't touch into a lot at Bays Mountain since Rob, uh, our friend Rob Cole is here today. But um, December the 2nd is the big day for Christmas in Northeast Tennessee. It seems that um, almost all of our cities have events, parades. A lot of things going on so if you want to stay within your hometown check out what's going on on December 2nd but I do have a listing we've not made it public yet so um, in the next couple of days check out our website northeasttennessee.org and you'll get to see the top 14 things to do for a hometown holiday uh, in Northeast Tennessee so we'll start off um, December 2nd Rogersville that's their big day get up early and stay late because they're going to have a parade of trees and open house downtown with the merchants um, you know a lot of arts atmosphere things going on uh, and of course the parade next up in Kingsport um, they have their Christmas in the country event so if you want to see kind of how people did it back in the 1850s um, that's a real neat event um, old-timey toys an old-fashioned Yuletide I think that would be super cool um, and then a lot of demonstrations blacksmith uh, a Yule log ceremony too so that's going on December 2nd 10 to 4 free and open to the public um, one thing coming up this weekend is the Santa train in Kingsport mm-hmm. too. So um, I, my dad's really excited because he's going to be driving his little red truck uh, with Santa, um, transporting him. So he's really excited about that. But um, 75th annual Santa train coming up. Um, so Kingsport has something new this year. It's the Santa Depot. A lot of fun things going on for the kids in anticipation for Santa to come. So that's November 18th, one to four. Yep. And the celebrity, they always have a celebrity yeah. from Appalachia. 
on the train. In the past, they've had the Judds. They've had uh, Patty Loveless. I mean, they get up and down the list. Kathy Matea, my buddy from West Virginia. But this year, this guy's good. Yeah. Ricky Skaggs. Ricky Skaggs and Kentucky Thunder. That's yeah. the name of his band. I don't think they're going to be with him. But Ricky Skaggs, who is from eastern Kentucky, will be on the Santa train. For folks out there watching across all these different states, they go, what's the Santa train? Kind of tell them what, it, what all is involved in the Santa yeah, train. Yeah, so the Santa train runs all the way up from, uh, is it Kentucky, Tennessee, and then into Virginia for all day. And it and Santa, it, the idea is that Santa will throw out toys and gifts to children along the way. And um, so there's always that star back there waving to the crowd. And um, it's, a, it's just a fun, 75 years that's been going. I can't believe that. Starts in Kentucky, comes down to make 14 stops between Pikeville, Kentucky, and Kingsport, where it finishes, of course. And so at each stop, some of these kids, they go to a very economically depressed area in southwest Virginia because the coal fields yep. are, are not working now. Uh, they're starting to come back thanks to Trump, but they weren't for a long time because of Obama. That's all other story, but it is what it is. So they are economically depressed, and so the Santa train stops at every stop and passes out literally – I think uh, last year was either 18 or 19 tons wow. of toys, candy, all these different merchants tied in with Food City, one of our great sponsors, and they donate. I mean, Keebler does it, Fritos does it, Kellogg's does it, all these different companies donate food products and also toys and different things. So Santa stops, as Alicia said, at each stop and hands out stuff on the Santa train. They're there probably 10 or 15 minutes, and they go to the next stop on the train. Thus, the name Santa Train. There's always a celebrity, and this year it's Ricky Skaggs, and so that's coming up this weekend. Yeah. They'll go up the tracks on Friday night, stay all night, come back down the tracks on uh, Saturday. And so it happens every year, as Alicia said. So that's the Santa Train. That's coming up this weekend. Yeah. Then you go to Rocky Mount and Piney Flats. Folks say, what's Rocky Mount? Tell us what Rocky Mount is. Yeah, so leading along the lines with the King Stor- Kingsport Exchange Place, Rocky Mount State Historic Site, um, they have a candlelight Christmas, so it's really neat. Everything's lit up. And, again, you go back to Christmas Eve, in 1791. Um, they have all kinds of different things, like a poor man's punch, a kissing ball, firing the anvil. You get to hear fun stories um, and dancing. And it's December 1st. 1st, 2nd, 8, 9, 4.30 to 8, and um, you do have to get tickets for that, so um, do that in advance. And, of course, we talked about Pinnacle Speedway and Lines. That's been going on for 21 years, so that's just another fun thing to do, a fun tradition. Um, and then, of course, we can't forget the theater in the area, Barter. Uh, Paramount Bristol, Nicewanger Performing Arts Center, several shows at uh, Nicewanger, Oak Ridge Boys, Charlie Brown Christmas. Those are already sold out. Um, so they, you know, ch- check the websites at Barter. They have um, some fun things coming up. A Tuna Christmas, Rudolph, White Christmas, and then um, Paramount Bristol Ballet. And a, it's a wonderful life. So they're going back with that vintage theme. And um, that's a fun thing to do as well. Irving Berlin's White Christmas of yeah. the Barter. I've never, ever, in all the years I've been going there, have had a bad performance no. at Barter Theater. It's fun. Phenomenal. Yep. It's a good date night. Yep. Um, and luck. a good date night activity. You hear that, Rob? It's a good date night at the Barter Theater. You yes. know, I proposed to her one time at Cracker Barrel back about eight or nine years ago. I just proposed to her out of the gate. I said, hey, Phelps, can you not get hit? She said, just pay the bill. That's all she said. Just pay the bill. I got to go. It's like, the well, license, just pay the license. <laughs> all she said was, just pay the bill. i got to go. I said, okay. <laughs> Didn't take me very serious. Oh. So. So, Story of my life. Okay, moving on with Christmas events yes, in Northeast ahead. Tennessee. Um, downtown Johnson City, Whoville, the Christmas Parade. December 2nd. Like I said, that's the big day. So if you want to you want to take the kids down, see Grinch and all the fun things going on for Whoville, um, that all will take place uh, at 1230, but then the parade is before that at 1130, so they always do a really fun parade. And then shopping, you know, we got to do that. Of course, things are coming up with the Thanksgiving holiday, Shop Small Saturday, Small Business Saturday, and of course the Pinnacle Johnson City Mall as well um, have big things going on. But of course, the Holly Jolly Market, uh, December 3rd in, at the Carnegie, you'll get to see artisans, crafts, um, a lot of handmade um, and local vendors there. So take part in that. Lots going on. Yeah. 
Christmas in Old Jonesboro, that's one that's been going on every Saturday leading up to Christmas. So if you can't go one Saturday, you get to go to another. Um, they have a historic Christmas church stroll, dog on Christmas for the dogs. They have a Whoville event as well. And then um, they have also the Colors of Christmas event, which is like a progressive dinner. That's on December 2nd, the big day. And you have to get tickets to that. It's a fundraiser for historic preservation in Jonesboro. Tennessee's oldest town. That's something else for you out-of-state folks. If we have the oldest town in Tennessee right here in northeast Tennessee in Jonesboro. And so all this on the website, we'll let her tell about that again in a moment. Then you have the old Christmas militia muster at Fort Watauga. That is in uh, Elizabethan. You have the Irwin Candlelight Nativity Parade. You have the Greenville New Year's Eve celebration. Good grief. I know. It's it's a lot. You, you know, Northeast Tennessee is eight counties, and then each city city has their own event. So um, it's really fun. Even Hancock County, their Christmas parade, December 2nd, Johnson County Festival of Trees all throughout uh, the month of December. So if you want to just go to northeasttennessee.org, you can read about all of these top 14 events that we've hand-selected for you and more. And we have sports coming up. We've got the Hardy's Classic next weekend. We've got some out-of-town teams coming. They're going to be using hotels, uh, to putting those heads in beds. The Arby's Classic coming to town. The Chick-fil-A Classic, we talked to Eddie Pless about that earlier in the show. We've got teams coming in from North Carolina, from Memphis. Uh, there's four out-of-town and four local teams. And so they're going to be staying, spend those uh, dollars, of course. We've got the... Uh, what's the name of the tournament Tammy's going to tell us about? The Ladies Classic in Greenville yeah. should be coming up with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the girls basketball tournament in Greenville brings an out-of-town team. So even though it's not Bristol Motor Speedway, and even though it's not in the summertime, all these baseball and softball tournaments, now in the wintertime, the Tourism Dollar Sports-wise is brought in with basketball tournaments. Yeah. And swimming. Oh, yeah? Swimming tournaments in Kingsport. Yeah, that's right, at the Kingsport Aquatic Center. So. Uh, the website is what? Netta? Northeasttennessee.org. Very easy to remember. Yeah. Northeasttennessee.org. Can I keep this? You can keep that. And I have to is, is Muggsy Bowes coming to the Arby's Classic again this year? I heard that, yes. He is? Oh, he was my hero back when I played basketball because he was short, too. You played basketball? I played basketball for many, many years. Did you really? Sullivan East. I didn't know that. Did you know that? Did you know she? I was a point guard. She saw basketball? <laughs> yeah, he saw, saw me her dunk, dunk it. it. No. With a mini tram. <laughs> no. With but Muggsy was my hero because he was, and I love the Charlotte Hornets, so he was the shortest guy in the NBA and, you know, all that. So it's always neat to go see him at Arby's Classic. Northeasttennessee.org. Mm-hmm. Awesome. You want to get something to eat? Yes. Good. My favorite barbecue oh, is here. I love yes. it. I'm oh, so excited yes. when you asked me to come at Phil's yes. Dream Pit Day. <laughs> you know, we just, do we look the part? Hey, Robert, we look okay? Is this us? No. Yeah. Polar opposites. He Polar went like opposites. this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a great picture. Now, I'm cutting up. Don't take anything serious. She's engaged to a guy, so you know, I'm just I'm just playing. So don't I don't want any text or any emails going. What are you doing? Because she's with Kevin. They're 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 thick as thieves, as they say, like the bugs in a rug, right? Yes. There you go. So I'm just cutting up with her. It's but okay. next will be Rob sitting in this seat. Rob's not going to be sitting in this seat. Rob's going to be sitting right over there. We're all family. In fact, I can tell you the only person that's ever sat right here is Alicia Phelps, ever. So you're on hallowed ground. This is not true. No, it is true. Nobody's ever sitting right beside me. Well, you wouldn't scoot over, so I had to sit somewhere. (laughs) There you go. I'll see you soon. Yes. Thanks for having me. She's awesome. Northeasttennessee.org. What kind of numbers? How big is tourism in this neck of the woods? $800 $800 million. $800 million in Northeast how Tennessee. how much people spend in Northeast Tennessee. In eight counties, $800 million. That is Thank very, you very for strong. visiting, and thank you for supporting us. You got it. NortheastTennessee.org. Check it out. Rob Cole's got the answer. He knows who Tennessee's going to hire as the new football coach. He's got it. <laughs> he knows. He'll tell us next on the Tom Dodd Sports Show. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but... Owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable 
with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Do you need an event catered? At Fields Dream Pit, we cater for gatherings over 50 people. Weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, company picnics, sporting banquets, to name a few. We can set up, clean up, and of course serve. We also offer value packs that include all the food. You pick that up and serve it yourself. Check out our webpage at fieldsdreampit.com. That's fieldsdreampit.com. Fields Dream Pit, Eastern Star Exit on I-26, open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And we're a phone call away at 423-349-649. 6437 Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles, to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. We're back again on the Tom Thrower Sports Show. I ain't Rob Cole. I ain't. That's good English. See, Alicia Phelps has kind of blown the show up here because now we're getting texts. Everybody's saying what a good-looking lady she is. And, you know, last thing I said a while ago, last thing was said to me was, before the shots went off, was, it's Bristol, baby. <laughs> so, again, this is Kev's girl. I'm giving my hard time. Well, not to him. That's Rob Cole. But she's over there setting. And then she said, we were, she didn't even say anything about Kyle Busch. Well, it's kind of a foregone conclusion he's going to win the championship, don't you think? I think he's got as good a shot as any. He's my, my odds-on favorite. He's got a one-in-four shot. That's so, right. Kevin Harvick, Brad Kozlowski, Martin Truex Jr., and Kyle Busch will race for the uh, Monster Energy Cup Championship in Homestead, Florida, coming up on Sunday. All right, Butch Jones gone. Who's your man? Who are you going to go get? Don't tell me, Lane Kiffin. No. Don't tell me no, John, that, no. Don't tell me John Gruden because no. John Gruden's not coming. I'm going to tell you right now. No. That, this guy's making so much money in the broadcast booth. Everybody says he's coming. I just like, I think he would have already said he w- would. But anyway, I interrupted I, you. Go ahead. I, yeah. I, first of all, no. Lane Kiffin's not happened. Enough, enough burnt bridges there. That That's that's not happened. Um, and as far as the John Gruden stuff goes, man, I, you know what? I, I've always taken a stance. I'll believe it when I see it. But having said that, if you've got the money, if you really believe what John Curry is saying about resources not being an issue, you make him tell you no first, second, and third, and then you immediately, immediately go to your list of candidates that you've already, hopefully by now, over the last three four weeks, have been talking to, and you say, okay, let's let's get real here. Somebody asked me yesterday, or yeah, Monday. How you doing, sir? Good, thank you. Thank you for stopping and eating. Did you have a good meal? What did you have? Pulled pork? What's your first name? Dan. Dan had pulled pork. Your sides were. Oh, that's. That'll set you free right there. That's oh, good that's stuff. That's a good meal. Pulled pork, beans, and slaw, and a little soda pop to top it off. 
Yes, sir. Good stuff. So, pull for the. Yeah. <laughs> That's the quote of the day. If it's Granny Clamp, but I'm gonna pull for the team. That's right. Be there a fan. Go. There you go. If you're a fan, you're a fan. Well, you know, my theory is win, lose, or tie. I'm a marshal man until I die. Whether the guy, whether Owen Tim Tim it's my team. That's it. Ride with him. That's it. Ride or die. That's it. Ride or die. So, guy told me this morning at school, too blessed to be depressed. I thought it was pretty cool. That's so good. we're talking to Rob Cole, Gruden. You know, if the resources there it looks like it's going to cost them about ten or twelve million dollars to get the assistance out of there, and Butch Jones, although the assistance will stay. They're on now for the last two games. So I guess they get a chance to kind of show themselves. But uh, I don't know whether it's a foregone conclusion. You know, uh, when you cut the head off of the serpent, everybody else goes too. I don't know. But yeah. you're talking $10, $12 million to get them all in there. So, uh, all right, I don't think it's Gruden. I don't think it's Kiffin. I, from everything I've heard, today it was the new one, Casey Rogers, uh, the defensive coordinator for the New, new Jer- I mean the New York Jets, former ball uh, that's a new one I've heard but for me and my money I'm Dan Mullen I mean I like this guy he's 32 38 at Mississippi State yeah 65 and 48 as a head coach or 68 and 45 as a head coach 32 and 38 in the SEC West which is tough you got Alabama Auburn LSU your resources are limited in Mississippi compared to Alabama yeah uh, only because you got Ole Miss knocking on your door all the time and 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 not not that big a state in Mississippi. So, anyway, out of the five I've heard so far, Dan Mullen, but who do you think? Who do you like? I, you know, out of the realistic candidates that I've heard, I like Dan Mullen. And, and a large part of that is because, you know, again, he's, yeah, his his record, when you look at just the record alone, it may not wow well you. But when you stack that up against Alabama, LSU, uh, Ole Miss in a period where they bought whatever player they needed, and his record looks pretty doggone good. And it mixed into that, there was a period, I think, a stretch of maybe five weeks a few years ago where he had Mississippi State at number one in the nation. Knows how to identify and then develop the quarterback for his system. He's got a proven record. He did it at Florida. He's doing it at Mississippi State. I like Dan Mullen. Um, you know, now if you can't get Dan Mullen, you know, you better still be aiming high and, and again, making people tell you no. By the way, an interesting thought I, I, I read earlier today was that Casey Rogers wasn't being interviewed for the head spot. The theory is that he may be possibly have been reached out to because our AD may already have his man about a possible DC spot, defensive coordinator spot. Hmm. Who knows? And I think that's kind of the fun part about this is, is obviously Curry's a little more tight-lipped than Dave Hart was, and I think obviously that feeds into the frenzy a little bit. Uh, regarding Gruden, obviously ESPN being in, in bad straits tends to hurt that. But, you know, this is, um, <laughs> I hate to say it, but for a Tennessee fan, this is probably the most fun we've had all year. <laughs> oh, absolutely. What I like is everybody knows somebody. Well, yeah. my neighbor lives beside John yeah. Curry, and he mows his yard. He took out the garbage the other night, and he said, you know, everybody knows somebody. Everybody's got the real scoop. I don't think anybody's got the scoop except John Curry and probably Haslam. That's it. And the guys are right, writing the checks for this. But A lot of trolling going on out yeah. there right now. I would think, somebody asked me at church Sunday, at what point did the process begin? To me, I don't guess it matters, but when they got thumped by Georgia, I think at that point right there, uh, John Curry probably got on the phone and started calling. Cause yep. All these big-time head coaches have agents, and they're calling these coaches agents and saying, okay, on the QT, would your man have any interest coming to Tennessee? I don't think that's how it got started. I think it got started. Somebody said, well, it started this past Sunday night. No, gosh, no. Hey. There's been a the wheel's been in motion behind the scenes, wouldn't you think? Listen, when Texas got rid of Charlie Strong, they had their man basically the same day. <laughs> I mean, you you know, do the math. Hey, look, this honor, this honor thing that people talk about, that's great. It's just not. Uh, look, that, that's what you say in front of a microphone. Uh, the reality is every one of these coaches is propping themselves up for either the next big gig, the next payday, or they're looking to progress from one level to the next till they reach you know, the, the big five, which 
or the big time, which of course would be a Power 5 gig. And, and let's be honest, they're all, like you said, they're using agents. The athletic directors know the agents, and half the time it's you know Agent Jimmy Sexton, who seems to have three-quarters of the major players that you want to hear in a search. And so, uh, look, you know what's going on here. Yeah, it's going on behind the scenes, and, you know, which makes me, uh, you know, I, there's a name out there we're not even thinking about that's mm-hmm. possibly already involved knee-deep in this search. And so it's just take a wait-and-see approach, enjoy the, the rumors, don't get wrapped up in it too tightly, and don't get too disappointed when your man isn't the one that's named. Well put. There is a hurry up and wait mentality to a point, given the fact December 1st, that first signing date, they've had a lot of decommit recruits. they got to get somebody out there to to shore up these commits, these recruits to say, okay, come back to Tennessee, namely Cade Mays, who said, you know, I'm out. This guy's in the backyard of Tennessee. His dad played there from Knox Catholic, so he has decommitted to Tennessee. So the hurry up and wait mentality is such that, you want to make the right decision, and you've got to make the right decision now. You've had yeah. Kiffin, Dooley, Butch Jones. But the problem with that is all these other coaches, and if you don't hurry up and get a good coach, Dan Mullen's been heavily recruited and courted by Florida. Arkansas is looking for a coach. Texas a and looking for a coach. Missouri's probably looking for a coach. That's just in the SEC alone. So the hurry up and wait mentality is, yeah, we're going to take our time to get the right one. But you can't really wait too long because these guys get snapped up by other people. So – uh, your honest assessment right now, if you were Dan Mullen, which is more attractive to you, Tennessee or Florida, as a head football coach? Which would be a more attractive spot for you, to go to Florida or go to Tennessee? Because that will come down to several people trying to decide which is the better fit or which is more attractive, going in at Florida, going in behind Michael Wayne, and going in Tennessee behind Butch Jones. You would say what? Well, it, you know, again, you know, the, the clarifier here is that if I'm sitting in Mullen's shoes, then I think Florida is because Florida's AD has a prior relationship with Mullen. Of course, Mullen has experience at Florida and with the Florida fan base um, and the power players at Florida. Now, unless there's something there that suggests that that's not a good mix, that maybe one of the reasons Mullen jumped ship and, and took the next step to a place like Mississippi State was something going on at Florida, well, then, you know, so be it. But I, for me, if I'm Mullen... But here's the kicker. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of juice out there being spread about Florida looking at Chip Kelly. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Florida's obviously got resources too, and they've got a jump, so to speak, at least publicly, on what Tennessee was doing. And I think everybody discounts that. By the way, I know everybody thinks about well, you waited so long to fire Butch Jones. Uh, like you said earlier, don't kid yourself. Curry's been. Oh. Guarantee your money. He's been working the back channel. Every good AD, every good manager, every good business person has a list in their back pocket of what ifs, that emergency situation. Because uh, you know uh, they don't know if a manager or a coach is going to up and leave for another gig either. So you got to have that started well in advance. And the added twist to all this, and we'll move on to Bays Mountain Park, is the fact that John Curry is new. He's just come in from Kansas State, so he wants to look good on a resume in case he wants to move on somewhere down the line, advance his career. So he's got to watch his steps as far as him because everybody's watching him. In fact, I saw yeah. some of these yahoos on, on Facebook said, fire John Curry here a couple of weeks ago, and I'm thinking, some of these people are just way out there. It's so unrealistic, but he is new. He does want to make a good impression, so he wants to make the right fit. He's got to deal with Holly Worley coming up, maybe Rick Barnes coming up. Excuse me. So he's got to make some good moves, and obviously the focal point of this athletic department is Tennessee football. So he's got to yep. make a good choice, and so he's dotting his eyes and crossing his t's too, because yeah. his resume is out there being watched very carefully too. That's right. Rob Cole, base Mountain Park Park Manager, love going up on the mountain for five dollars a car load, and we're in the transitional part of the season, and fall is very much here, obviously. So tell us uh, the barge rides and. The wolf habitat. What's going on in Bays Mountain Park? Yeah, let's start with the bar drive. This is the last month. We're winding up the last few weeks uh, where the bar drive is available for the season, and then we'll, uh, for lack of a better term, mothball it till March 1st. Um, but you enjoy the bar drive, and I hope you do. Come on up and enjoy it while you still can. The weather's still been uh, very nice. 
a uh, little bit cooler maybe in the mornings, but the afternoons when we do the barge rides, it's been wonderful. And so, you know, we've still got a few colors left. They may not be as vibrant as they were before. Barge rides, just $5 a person, holds up to 45 people. And, uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Look right here. Put that up there. Diana said $10 plus tax. Check this out. Nice. You, need, you want this for Christmas? I can put a bow on and give it to you. Oh, I, yeah, I, I can go through two of those pretty quick. You, uh, oh, yeah. You got the Sweet Fire and the original barbecue sauce <laughs> already pre-packaged in this box. All needs to be wrapped up or just put a bow on and hand it off to somebody. $10 plus tax for these two 16-ounce bottles. It'll set you free. It's good stuff. Oh, it's great stuff. And as she said... Diana says she's like me. She doesn't like anything spicy. So it's got a little bit of kick to it, but it won't burn us up. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, that is the uh, the original and the Sweet Fire barbecue sauce prepackaged here. Again, this is for the holidays. You're 40 days out. So if you're thinking, what do I get somebody for Christmas? Either a gift certificate or this prize gift pack or both. A prize pack, gift pack, or both from Phil's Dream Pit. The quest for perfect barbecue. You're getting ready to break. Do a little chowing down, ain't you? Oh, yeah. I see Miss Phelps. Fire. Is, huh? Sweet fire. Miss Phelps has got herself something to eat here. So, anyway, we got now 40 days out. Gift giving ideas. Park membership. You got a gift shop up on the mountain. Yeah. Give me some ideas for folks out there going, you know, I want to get something different for somebody. If you have somebody who likes the outdoors, I'm telling you, you can't go wrong for the price he's getting ready to tell you for a park admission for a year for Bays Mountain Park. Oh, yeah. You can't go wrong with park membership. Uh, like Cousin Eddie says, it's it's the gift that gives all year long. Uh, you, Cousin you know, you, Eddie. You, you got to oh. go there. It's the season, man. It is the season. <laughs> Look, for $25 for an individual or $35 for a family, you really can't. You can't beat it. It's it's a great bargain. And uh, you get you free into the park one vehicle. And uh, you never know what you're going to see or hear up at the park. Up. It's entertaining. You are a piece of work. I forgot about Cousin Eddie. Hey, Clark. That's right. Oh, got it. <laughs> Jelly of the Month Club. <laughs> <laughs> the Jelly of the Month Club. Oh, that's good stuff. Forgot about that. Clark Griswold, you're talking about Cousin Eddie. Oh, played yeah. Played by uh, Randy. Uh, yeah. Randy Quaid. Randy Quaid. Yeah. Hey, Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and get yourself something real nice while you're at it. <laughs> you are killing me. Jelly the Mother Club. All right, anyway, back on focus, Tom. Focus, That's focus, right. focus. Anyway, Bays Mountain Park, so a membership, absolutely. Man, you've got some, I know last time I was here, you had some walking sticks uh, for folks that, that walk around the lake or wherever and some other other good, neat things, too. We've got walking sticks. Uh, you know, we've got lotions and things of that nature from Naked Bee for the ladies. Um, you know, for the kids, we've got all kinds of plush toys, uh, obviously stuffed animals that are a, a part of the plush toys, uh, little gadgets, little uh, educational games, um, lo- lots of little things that you can either stock a, uh, in, in, you know, a, uh, stuff into a stocking with or you can uh, put underneath the tree and, and, and have it separate. Uh, and, you know, the fun part about it is, again, you get to come to the park, enjoy a relaxing day. Um, do it all, see it all if you can. Hit a trail, do the barge ride, enjoy the planetarium, pick up a membership or something else out of the gift shop for Christmas, and uh, just relax. Don't, you know, don't fall for the stress and the hustle and bustle. Like Friday, I guess for some folks it's a wonderful thing. Uh, I, 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 I tend to hide under a clothes rack if I happen to find myself in the middle of a Black Friday rush. <laughs> but, um, you know, come to the park. I promise you it's a lot more pleasant, relaxing, and uh, uh, days are win- dwindling. You know what the number is. I know you keep counting. Forty. Forty. There you go. Pressure's on. Forty. Now, before I let you go, there was a lady that remains anonymous, lost her husband about eight or nine years ago, and she told me for a year... Her solace, her solace, her therapy was to go up and just sit at Bays Mountain Park looking over that lake, trying to get over the loss of her husband. So yeah. uh, there's different reasons people go up there, but if you just want to get away, take a big deep breath. It's 10 minutes away, tops from our, from Metaview, so it's not like it's out and takes you four hours to get there. $5 a carload, but this lady said every week she went up there and sat. 
<clears throat> to help her cope with the loss of her husband. So it's used for different reasons, obviously, by different folks. So Bays Mountain Park website is? Website is www.baysmountain.com. There you go, baysmountain.com. Good job. So can we get something to eat? Oh, yeah. Wolf it down, big dog. You got it. Break bread, bust it, and go. We're done. Good job. All good. He's the man. Our buddy Rob Cole from Bays Mountain Park. Again, uh, we're in overtime mode today here. We have went over, and that's good. That's okay. We can because we're on the Internet. Like us and share us. We'd appreciate that. And so Rob's going to get himself something to eat, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to sit down and eat with these kids right here at Phil's Dream Pit, the Quest for Perfect Barbecue. One more time, check this out. Can't emphasize this enough. This is a great gift-giving idea. $10 plus tax, two 16-ounce bottles of Sweet Fire and original barbecue sauce already pre-packaged, ready to go. Put a bow on it or wrap it up, put it under the tree, hand it off to somebody for a gift-giving idea for Christmas, and you cannot go wrong with Phil's Dream Pit and a gift certificate to boot. What would you get, dear? I heard smoked turkey. I've never had it before, but it looks really good. Smoked turkey and some hash brown casserole. No. Macaroni and cheese, and they warmed up the turkey for them. Can't beat it, folks. Again, Tuesday through Saturday, they're here. Eastern Star exit of Interstate 26. Again, philsdreampit.org. Check them out. We are out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. Our guests today have been Alicia Phelps, the lovely Alicia Phelps, the executive director of the Northeast Tennessee Tourism Association. Also, Rob Cole, park manager from Bays Mountain Park. Also joining us by phone was Eddie Pless, the athletic director from Elizabethan, talking about the Chick-fil-A basketball classic next month in Elizabethan, and, of course, Jeremiah Clark from Appalachian Digital. We are out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. And also Diana Pipkin, of course, the owner here of Phil's Dream Pip. We'll reconvene tomorrow. We'll be ready to go live from Chick-fil-A, Thursday, Champion Chevrolet. Friday, we'll be at Food City on North State of Franklin in Johnson City with our buddy Derek Atkinson and the gang. All that coming up again over the next three or four days here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. So, out of time, we sincerely thank you for yours, and we'll redo it again tomorrow from Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. So, for Diana and Phil and all the folks here at Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue will tell you, as always, win or lose, be a good sport. We'll see you tomorrow from Chick-fil-A, Thursday, Champion Chevrolet, and Friday we'll be live at Food City on North State of Franklin and North Johnson City. Until then, so long, everybody.